Happy Martin Luther King Day, everybody. Every year when I think of Martin Luther King Day, the first thing I think of is freedom. That is what Martin Luther King walked for. That is what he believed in. He believed in a world that we all were here to work with each other, to help each other, to love each other, to take care of people, that all men are truly created equal. It would be a beautiful sight if one day that actually happened. A lot of times in history we've actually seen that happen. We've seen communities come together in disasters like 9-11, in hurricanes. In big time disasters, that's when people come together. And that is awesome, and that's great. But why can't we do that every single day? It seems to me that the world, people, are just plain selfish. Now, a lot of you might be like, I'm not selfish. Every single day, a person is selfish. That is the way we're taught, that is the way we are brought up, that is the way media teaches us. And there's something in us that just wants things. For ourselves. Don't get me wrong, there are times and there are people that truly do love others. I love people. I love taking care of people. I love helping people. I usually am the person that says, you first before me. But there are, are selfish tendencies in me. That is something that we are born into. If we came to a point in America where we truly did love each other and we truly did work with each other, it would be not only a miracle, it would truly set Martin Luther King's speech into a new light. Martin Luther King was a great man, a great man that teaches us even today. The sad thing is, is that we only remember him on this day. We only remember certain things and certain people on the days that they have a day before them. Like, hey, it's Martin Luther King Day. Now we get excited? I think every day should be a day that we think of the good things. Like my belief is that God is good, that Christ was sent for us to love people. And I try to follow that every single day, in every way. That Christ doesn't only love me, he takes care of me. Everybody believes in something, no matter who you are. Well, I don't know about that. Okay, give me an example. All right, I'm gonna think on your side, here we go. I believe in nothing. Okay, you believe nothing happens, right? You believe there is nothing. My thing to you would be, your belief is in nothingness. That's your belief. Everybody has a belief in something, no matter who you are. If we truly believed in love, if we truly believed in freedom, if we truly believed in compassion, the world would be a better place. So I challenge you, love, make a difference, care, so that one day, the speech that was heard by Martin Luther King, free at last, free at last, all God Almighty, free at last. Can we do that? Right now I'm in a hard circumstance. Right now I'm getting skinnier and skinnier by the day. I just weighed myself and I'm 111 pounds. The reason why I have the endurance, the reason why I have the passion to keep on going, to never giving up. Because I know no matter what happens, God loves me. There is no lose-lose situation to me. To me, it's a win-win. Whether I go in the hospital and I put IVs in my arm, whether worse comes to worse, it's a win-win situation. I'm not afraid. And me not being afraid makes me also say, I will overcome this. People down, people say, you will not overcome this. You are weak. You are horrible. Think of something. Just think of something that you have dealt with. Whether anorexic, whether you cut yourself. Something huge in your life that you just do not think you can overcome. Now beat it. And you keep punching. You keep going no matter how many times you seem like you're going to get knocked down. That's fine. Get back up. Do not get knocked down. Thank you so much for being kind to me and to my wife. I love you guys really do. These next couple of days, weeks, are going to be very, very tough. I've been having really depressing thoughts. I've been having things that are just bad. And I just needed to get my thoughts and what I believe and what I know out there because. That's all. Just because. And I thank you for listening. And I thank you for loving. And thank you for caring. Question. What does Martin Luther King Day mean to you? And also in the comments below, 
What is something that you are dealing with right now in life that you feel you want to give up on? Because I will continue saying to you, no matter what, you can overcome it. Pray about it. Talk. God loves you. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. We hope you enjoy your stay.